got so much graver coming at you forever. We know. Hey guys and welcome back, this is Serge, and as a bit of a spontaneous thing, I decided I would do a quick video. Um, this has got nothing to do with any of this, I'm just gonna stare at this while we talk, just for a second. But yeah, um, one thing that I started doing these videos for, and I want to keep getting back to what I actually enjoy, is I really started doing these for the ability to just review people's ships and talk about other people's ships. Uh, and I initially started doing that because nobody else was, and there are a few other people who are doing it. But uh, after a little bit I realized I actually enjoy scrutinizing people's, um, you know, work that they put so much effort into. Uh, in a positive way, like, I actually enjoy getting ideas and talking about people's stuff. But I'm also not going to beat around the bush, I'm definitely going to give everything its, you know, fair assessment for what I believe is fair for what we talk about. So. Today we're actually going to look at a um, ship, it is the uh, Battlecruiser Dunkledon, uh, Dunkleodon, <laughs> Dunkleodon, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put it up on the screen there. Uh, but this one is by Dark Nasius, uh, or Nasius, or oh my god, people on the internet, make your stuff easy to understand. <laughs> no, okay, so, um, you know, let me know in the comments below, Dark, how you actually pronounce your name. But this is it here, this is the battleship uh, Dunkleodon, and yeah, I just let's have a look at this thing because I think it's pretty cool. Um, we'll have a bit of a look on the inside in a moment. Uh, first and foremost, I really love the shape. It's pretty tiny, tinier than it looked on the actual pictures on the Starmade docks. So I ripped this straight off the docks because I just kind of want to have a bit of a look at it. I will say it's kind of kind of sharp, kind of jagged like a saw or like a, like a shark's tooth in a way where uh, all these little wingy bits aren't smooth and crisp and pointy because uh, they got these little kind of like um, uh, little plates on them which make them a little sharper a little bit more difficult to define as a shape and I'll be honest I'm not sure if I like it uh, it definitely works uh, for what you're attempting to do, at least what I'm assuming you're attempting to do, which make it this a little bit more uh, ferocious looking. And the reason I can assume this is because I can sort of see over here uh, the same thing's being achieved here by using those tetras to make it less of a, this is a nice smooth plate, and uh, actually make it look like it's a bit of a jagged, rough, scaly surface. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really digging that. Um, I don't know if I, um, if that was intentional, but it definitely looks like it was, so I I'm digging that. So I love the antennas on the front there. A very cool design. It's a lot smaller than I, than I had anticipated, so this is really cool. The engines, nice and small, actually. I was expecting bigger engines on the back here. Um, I only just recently jumped online and just randomly picked out a ship that I thought looked interesting. I hadn't seen this thing from behind, but uh, yeah, it's tiny little engines. I don't know how I feel about that, uh, except that is pretty cool because realistically in space, you don't need an enormous amount of thrust to get where you're going. So um, yeah, I'm actually digging that as well, using the um, beacons sort of as a constant plume. I really, ho I really am hoping, like just judging by the look of this, it's probably not gonna happen, but I am sort of hoping to see a bit of plumage uh, when I when I take this thing for a fly. But uh, I am looking now, and I just don't think that's gonna happen. So, just flying around this thing for a little bit, and man, dark, uh, dark Nasius, you got a real eye for detail. Uh, and I, I've seen a lot of your ships on the server, uh, on the um, on the docks rather, for a while, and. They've always sort of impressed me. I've always been pretty keen. I've never actually downloaded one of them before, at least not not to my knowledge. I might have actually done a review on one. I, as far as I'm aware, I just haven't bothered looking back at my older videos. Um, but yeah, it's it's starting to look pretty cool. I can definitely see those little spots that... Um, maybe they're intentional, but they're... This little... Um, they, they tick on the compulsions I have to actually to, to fix them up like that little spot there it kind of looks out of place I don't know whether it's intentional or not uh, or whether a block was missed or you just sort of rushedly put this together 
Uh, there's a few other little spots that I think would be interesting if you tried a few different techniques like these stripes on the wing here um, are definitely good and they definitely look good from a distance until you get up close and they look a little bit out of place. Um, I, I would personally, and this is just a personal thing that I like to do, I like to embed that uh, as a docked entity so it looks like it's, well, it, so that it is flush against the actual uh, wingy bit. But hey, it's just what I do. I'm really keen to have a run around inside this thing because I can see lots of interior, uh, which is pretty exciting. And I love my interior, guys. If you build a ship that's just one big block of stats, that's just no fun. You need to have an interior. Um, because you know you're in space it's you know it's not technically a role-playing game if that's not what you want to do but you know let's face it it's a role-playing game it's star made the mechanics in the game do not sufficiently allow for proper PvP uh, at this point so um, yeah it's definitely a role play game in my opinion so I'm just flying around this still trying to find the the entrance to this thing I'm assuming it's this here uh, where these, uh, ooh, there's docked drones. Docked drones in there, that's pretty cool. Uh, do they, are they docked entities? I really hope they are. They look like they're mining drones, that's pretty cool. I really hope they work now, <laughs> that looks pretty, pretty sweet. So, jumping around in this thing. This kind of looks like his main little runabout. I don't know, Dark, if this is actually your runabout. I didn't really read much of the description on the, on the dock. I just kind of ripped it off had a bit of a look at it so we're gonna jump on in here uh, I'm gonna give up looking for the door in a second I am assuming it is that front thing unless I've missed it very obviously and if you're watching um, this anybody's watching this in your and you're and you're yelling at me there there it is right there I, I can see it stop doing a saber the, the door is right there <laughs> I I'm sorry look I like to do a thing and I know you're probably up me for not being in a steady cam or anything uh, but that is purely because it's so much easier guys so much easier to fly around in build mode and I think I just found it is that the door that's a pretty obvious door <laughs> well I'll be honest I don't think anyone would have spotted that because I didn't actually fly around the top until just then so uh, let's go and jump into the door so open this up now this is just just me and if you noticed you know that's kind of there's no point pressing the button Unless, is there a faction module on that block anywhere? If there's a faction module on it, you see there's no faction module on it. Um, so, and I, I know Dark Nasius has been on this, playing this game for a very long time because I've seen his name all over the, all over the, um, the docks. And uh, he's definitely commented on a few of my builds. Um, and it just might be the, you know, perfectionist in me, um, but buttons for plexi doors, I mean, roleplay wise, which kind of defeats the purpose of what I just said, uh, you know, they do make a lot of sense, um, but when it's your ship and you don't have a faction permission module on there, uh, it's kind of, kind of pointless. So we're just going to kind of follow through this thing as if we're not in the core. Um, until we get to the core room and we're gonna have a bit of a fly around so I'm pretty stoked to have a walk around this thing because this interior looks intense like for the size of ship that it is I'm really keen to see what's going on in this thing I'm not sure where the core room is but if I press X that'll take me to the core room which is strangely here okay Interesting. Oh, no, it doesn't take me to the core room. Sorry, this is the... <laughs> that's the center of the ship. Uh, I might just jump out of the core. Here we are. So, is there gravity nearby? No gravity nearby, so... I know I'm doing this a bit half assedly guys, but... Um, that's just because I want to sort of just nut this out. I just want to kind of do this. A bit of fun. There doesn't seem to be gravity anywhere. Unless... Unless it's like an auto gravity. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the gravity. So let's jump on out of that core. Here we are, guys. A lot of headroom. A lot of headroom. Oh, there's a balcony up there. Nice. Catwalk. All right. Got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of interior. A lot of heavy hardened hull. So let's jump back in the core real set. 
uh, real quick and look at these stats. So there the stats are. Um, I'll bring these up bigger on the screen at some point. Uh, half a mil shields, not too bad. The recharge is really low though. Um, on only 10,000 a second. Uh, means you have to survive a good 1,000 DPS, which is really easy to achieve. And this looks a lot more... Again, I'm not going to get in the whole PvP. I keep, you know, contradicting myself here. Um, but it does still... It doesn't take a little bit more effort to put a bit more shielding in here. Although, I'll probably take that back and contradict myself again once I have a walk through this thing and have a look at all the interior. Um, let's have a look at this power. And, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's, it seems to be doing all right. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to give this a fly and have a good look around. So it's ratio to mass for thrust is only 0 0.9, so I think this is going to be a bit of a slug uh, as far as the speed department goes, but we may be wrong. We may be wrong. So inside we got a lot of empty panels, um, which I'm guilty of, uh, so it just means you haven't filled that with information. Got this cool captain's chair, which is pretty cool. I assume you'd sit in that and look down and control this. It's sort of an awkward spot for the core to be. Um, this seems to be plonked here. I don't know whether that's on purpose, but I just I couldn't say. Let's walk through here. Alrighty. So he's doing something I like to see. Now this is really important for you guys to know. Uh, making a difference between the interior's floor and the walls is very important uh, because it's easy to get disorientated, especially in anti-gravity uh, or in lack of gravity, rather. I like these. Uh, you've got these gloss over the different computer menus, which is really cool, and good use of system blocks around the place. Uh, random terminals, which is pretty cool. This looks like what is this? It's a random closet? Is this a closet? I don't know what that is. Can I can I close it behind me? Yeah, there must be a closet. Okay. Strange. Not not sure I, what I think about what I feel how I feel about that. Oh, nice little dining area in here. Lovely view. Windows, let's go into first person. <laughs> Windows are the best guys. Having windows just enhances your experience tenfold. Nice, nice. Good use. And this is really, really cool here. I don't know whether this is intentional, but you've got all these panels in here, which is cool, but then you haven't tried to hide them on the other side. Uh, and although those those monitors there kind of are a bit distracting, this part here is actually pretty cool, and it's almost like it was intentional for detail. It's starting to feel a little bit cramped in here, but in a good way, in the sense that... There's a lot of stuff going on, and the lighting in here is really cool. That's something I have a real trouble doing, is good lighting. Purely because I get stuck, um... Sort of with really bright interiors. Because my, my opinion is, look, I'm, I don't want a safety hazard, I want all the lights on. Um, but then you don't get the really cool atmosphere. And look up there, you know, there's some pipes just hidden in there, and I wouldn't have seen that unless I looked up. And just a little, little attention to detail like that, which I, I, I really appreciate. Uh, good use of these ingots. I, I definitely like using the ingot material. Started using that a lot more recently, and this is where the disconnect can happen a little bit. So you got ingots here, and sort of uh, actually maybe not ingots around the side there, and then you've kind of got them on the floor in here and the walls. But the walls only up there. I don't know. It's not bad actually. I, I actually don't mind it now that I'm in here close the door behind me because I'm in a different room now with a different feel. Nice little chairs, nice use of the railings here. And uh, definitely a good Latin use of this texture. The scanner texture is super useful and it's definitely good to look at uh, on the interior of ships, um, which is always nice to see. Got, uh, this looks kind of, <laughs> this is cool. This kind of looks like it's a, like a DJ, you know, mixed deck. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some sort of just, you know, meta. Stick that in there to make it look like it does something. Uh, got a table in here. This is like the war table. You plan stuff. Nice check it pattern, actually. I really like that. I steal that. That's pretty cool. Uh, got some doors going on here with some random windows out there. Uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about just a random window there. I'd almost suggest knock out this wall and in here and just sort of open this area up 
so that you just got that window for the sake of it. Then you could put like like a, a few more chairs or machines or something there. Um, so it's kind of like a, a pointless room, but that's always good. Pointless rooms are always good, especially if they add to the feel. There's some random exposed blocks there, um, but that's okay. They're covered by crystal armor, which is okay. Um, this is really cool. Oh, that actually is the next floor down, I think. That's cool. Having the ability to see through to the next floor definitely adds a lot of depth to your builds, which is always really cool. So let's speed things along. Let's come back through this way. So far, I don't see a lot of rails going on besides tarts, um, which I actually haven't checked for tarts yet either. So I don't know what we're going to find there. Lovely view. Lovely view. Good couch going on. This looks like more of a luxury ship than it is a, um, you know, warship. So I don't know. Is this another closet? It is. There's just closets everywhere. Huh. And um, whatever this is, this is, uh, is this a ladder? Is this meant to be a ladder? No. It's just a, um, just some shelving. Okay. Door to go through here. This looks like more of an interesting room. So this kind of looks like, um, yeah, like engineering. Very interesting. I'm getting a little bit messy in here. I definitely, definitely feel like it's getting a little messy in here. Uh, exposed systems on the ground can look good, but not when they're then they're that active. Uh, I'd almost flip them up and just yeah, like you've done there, and just use them as padding. Uh, otherwise, it's you know not entirely. I'm not entirely certain what this is meant to be. I feel like if I step on this, I'm, I, I'll get electrocuted. That's what I feel like. So um, that's just that's just how that looks to me. To me, this is disappointing. This this right here is disappointing. Um, like, can I get through there? No, I can't. So this, all these lovely videos, uh, all these, uh, videos, all these lovely views, uh, and this one's blocked. Um, that might be for a reason, maybe to the way it looks on the outside, but that was, was really looking forward to going up to that window. This is pretty cool. Yeah, looks like it's, uh, meant to be, meant to be something. Um, all these stations look like they're important. This, I'm assuming, is a medbay, although I can't tell that that, I suppose, I mean, you know, you got the, the green in here, which I love, by the way, I love these chairs. I love your furniture, man. Um, I can't really tell what this is, I mean, I, I, I guess by the, the healing thing there, that's meant to be like a sick bay or something. Um, I just feel like if you're sick, you shouldn't be around where everyone else is. It's on the same side. It's pretty much symmetrical the whole way down as well, which that ain't bad, but it gets a little boring. I got another door in here. Uh, more shelves. I, I, I don't know what I feel about the shelves. They seem to be everywhere uh, for no particular reason. And I know it's not like you can actually fill that with stuff, which would be pretty cool if you could. Um, this is a crazy looking door. Storage. All right. So. Um, looks like you got different storage boxes for different things, which is interesting, especially when you uh, consider that you can add, we'll be adding, well, they'll be adding rather, um, portable, um, what's the word, uh, factories on your ship soon, which is pretty cool. I don't know how to get up. I'm not sure if there's a way to get up, um, besides jumping. I, I, I'm pretty sure I can just jump up. But I'm not. I'm, I'm sure it's not designed to do that. So I'm just gonna keep walking around until I find a way up. Um, I don't think is this the way to get up. I really hope not. I'm gonna jump up this way anyway, and we'll find our way back down somehow. It's over here. Oh, this might be. This might be the way. Oh, it's it's the airlock that we came in before. It's you literally jump up. Okay, that, that's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for an elevator. They may be really easy to stick an elevator there. Like, really easy. Um, and I know this thing isn't old because it's using so many of the new assets, like the railings. Or if it was old, it's, it's still not difficult to modify it to have that, um, that elevator there. So, lovely catwalk. I love how it's like this split level design. Um, although the catwalk seems so far to be useless in a meta way, 
Got some stations, which is pretty cool. Ooh, yeah, actually, no, I really like this now. Just walking through here is pretty cool, especially if this, you know, oh, it's a missing block. Yep, that's a missing block, okay. Um, I'll forgive you for that because that is notoriously easy to do. Uh, I really hope the payoff through here is really good too. Oh no, I, I can't actually get through. Why? Why can't I get through? Ah! Uh, ah, uh, it's because this doesn't have collision and this is an arc. Alright, can I do the super slide? Yeah. So if you don't know guys, you can actually aim, if you're trying to get through a gap and you aim through the gap and you actually press O for set, you'll actually sit through the other side. Which is what I like to call super slide because when you go through, it's like you've slid and you just kind of went underneath. And the payoff is another room that doesn't do anything, I guess? It isn't easy to tell what it is. Hmm. I mean, this is interesting. I just feel like there's a lot of empty rooms that don't do anything or don't lead anywhere. Um, which is cool and all, but if they aren't obvious to what they are, uh, it can get a little confusing. Uh, and it might be super cool that this is, you know, your ship that you travel around in and it means a whole bunch to you. Um, and this may never have meant for actually other people to really get into and use this ship because, you know, again, it's your ship that you fly around in. It's like the Oppressor. Um, I don't really... I have not I've not actually given a copy of that to anyone. The only people who have a copy of the Oppressor are those who helped me build it and admin on my server. And, um... Although I might eventually release it at some point, I have no real intentions of handing it out. Although, and there's so many areas in that ship that just don't make sense if you're walking around it. Like, a lot of people could not tell that the Colosseum or the arena is an arena just by looking at it. It's it's not that obvious. So, um, yeah, let's let's jump inside this thing. Let's take it for a spin. Really like the shape of this thing, man. Really like the shape and little details. It turns quite well as well. Let's see if we get a plume. No plume, that's, that's disappointing. And it is, it's a slug. It, it has very little up and go. What kind of systems does this thing have? Ooh, gotta look over the mic. What we got here? We got missiles, we got damage beam, we got power drain? Shield drain, so it's a bit of a leech. Not a slug, guys, it's a leech. Uh, I got a cloaker, it has a cloaker? Okay, and a jump drive. Let's have a look, see if there's anything in the, um, let's go ship uh, weapons. What else have we got? Anything not... No, that's everything. That is everything. Okay, let's... Oops, what do we want to do? Let's take this thing for a little spin. Uh, I doubt the cloaker is going to last. Nope, the cloaker does not last. Uh, radar jammer is not sufficiently powered. Uh, jump drive... Surprisingly fast. And shield drain. Oh jeez, this thing has a lot of shield drain. Yeah, it is actually meant to be a bit like a vampire ship. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, from a distance, this thing looks really good, too. Like, from a distance, you see this coming in, you're like, oh, that's, that's interesting. I wonder what that's about. That's pretty cool. Uh, damage beam. So its actual main weapon's a damage beam. And then you've got missiles. Oh, let's see that again. That's cool. Let's fire at something. Let's fire at one of these pods. That was really cool. Let's back right up here. Ah, it's it turns really well. It's just such a slug in in its its thrust capacity. I mean, I, I personally suggest maybe just dropping um, a bunch of the um, maybe jump drives. Maybe I don't know. Just drop some system. Maybe shields if you're gonna be more of a if you're not gonna care so much about shield recharge. Maybe drop a bunch of shield capacity. And, and just let this thing zip around a bit more. Uh, the faster it'll move, the less likely you get hit. So let's fire that away. That's pretty cool. Did, did it do any damage? It's coming back around. I don't know what it's firing at. 
Definitely did some damage. I just think the game's a bit bugging at the moment. That's okay. But no, I really like those missiles, man. Those are pretty cool. So I'm assuming that this is a role play. Oh shoot, there's a whole bunch of interior right down there as well. How do you even get down there? Oh dang, we missed a bunch of stuff. Oh no, no, no we didn't. I think, yeah we did, we totally missed a bunch of stuff. So let's just run through this interior here guys. Uh, we'll do this in build mode. Uh, okay, so this is, the, this is the crew quarters. See, I can tell what this room is. Yeah, I actually really prefer these bottom floors. They're a little bit more open. They're a lot less cramped. And although that definitely means you use up a lot less space and you actually end up using, uh, wasting a lot of space that could possibly be used for, um, um, how do you get down there? What is this? I don't even know how you're supposed to get down here. Um, orientation on this ship's a little off, I'll gotta say. Um, but you know, it's a spaceship, so it's not like you have to draw a map for everybody who gets on board. This is a cool little lounge. That's pretty cool. Nice little view, and down underneath is a another lounge, I guess. This is definitely more of a luxury ship than anything else. I do, however, think I know your what could solve your problem. Yeah, little floating tables, that's pretty cool. Nice little sci-fi touch. Um, I definitely know what could easily solve your problem in the sense that... Is this a... Oh, please tell me this is a... Haha, <laughs> it's a theater room! That is cool! Oh, that is a really good use for that block, using it as a speaker. That is really cool. See, I can tell immediately what that is, and if I'm wrong, I really hope I'm not wrong. I don't want to be right if I'm wrong. Um, that is cool. I love, I love this, you know, you've got it hidden away there and BAM! It's a speaker room and is this another closet? You love your closets, I think it's another club. BAM! Speaker room! <laughs> that is, that is cool, Dark. I appreciate that. That is cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to check every closet now. Ooh, speakers. Okay, so what's in this one? Ah, see these closets got stuff going on. Haha, <laughs> I love this. You can tell I'm having fun. Um, that is cool. This is cool. This is so cool. Uh, so I have no idea how to get down here. That wasn't a very obvious, you know, um, uh, like, route going on down here. So I actually don't think there is a way down here. It does not look like there is a way down here. Um... What's going on in here? Nope. Some more shelves. And down there. How, how, how do you get down here? Dark, if you're watching this and I don't work this out, let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to know how you, how you just got around in this thing. That looks like a kitchenette. That's pretty cool. This is like the living quarters. Um, where am I? I'm on the bottom floor here. And there's another floor underneath that as well. Jeez, um, maybe there's teleporter somewhere? Maybe you teleport around in this place? That's interesting. Um, I do like the pipes. I definitely like the pipes. Oh, oh what's this button do? Oh, I bet you it's just, yeah, again, it's a pointless button. Um, if I'm missing something, this is this is gonna be pretty embarrassing. But I don't think I don't think I am. I think there's just no no way to get down here. It's just a literal cutoff floor. I know how to get down. Oh, it's okay. It's like one big shaft. Okay, again, an elevator could have really helped that out a lot. Uh, it definitely blends in with the floor there. Um, can easily miss that. This is pretty cool too. It's like a science level. Uh, big vault here. I, I, I'm sort of getting a feeling, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dark, but this looks like it's been built consistently over a long time, or at least if it was, and it was built a long time ago, and you've gone back over it and definitely upgraded a lot. Oh, this is interesting. You got multiple jump drives? Like, they jump drives? Look like jump drives. Um, is that a... 
It's a jump drive computer. Okay, that's okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, it's definitely like a science lab kind of area, and it's like multiple bulkheads to stop people just wandering around. Random couch in here. In some guy's lab, I guess. Um, that looks like it's out of place. Um, ooh, I like this room. Definitely like this room. Good view. This should be the cockpit. Honestly, the core should be right there, and this should be the core room right there. Very exposed, I know, but that would be the most ideal spot for the core. Uh, and I know you can't just up and pop the core somewhere else, but that would be really cool. Um, what else we got going on? Oh, we got another level? All right, the drones. Oh, please tell me the drones work. Please tell me the drones work. Um, it's like a briefing room, maybe, I don't know, crew quarters again? Maybe this is for the mining group? This maybe is like the crew mining area. Like it's where the crew who mine sleep and people their junk. Um, you got a very classist kind of ship here. You got all the luxury stuff at the top and then... Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. Um, please tell me they're on rails. Please tell me they're on... They're on rails! Oh, but they're not. Are they on turrets? Oh, I suppose you just kind of like undock them manually. That's you know, that's a little disappointing. You definitely should set this up so that it has like some rails um, and pushes them out on the rails one by one. That would be oh, that would make my day so much. That would make my day. Right now, they're just kind of like not not doing anything. So, and I can't see any logic anywhere that would assume. Um, that they could so I might be wrong, but I just I cannot see any logic anywhere so uh, Overall overall I'm very impressed very impressed. I've said my piece and I've given my advice um, There's a lot of disappointing aspects um, The lack of rails is a, is a big one and I'm just realizing there's not a single turret on this thing. I have not. I cannot see a single turret on this thing, and that's that's concerning. If you're flying this dude around, oh look, there's a whole other level I completely missed. Is there? Is this a whole other level I completely missed? Oh my God, the interior on this thing is crazy. This can't be another. No, no, I don't I think. I think I got all this. I think I got all this. I might have just missed some of this stuff. Um, if I missed it, look, I'm running out of time. If I missed it, I'm sorry. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. <laughs> you're distracting me, Dark, with all your pretty interior. I want to talk about how terrible your ship is, but you're just so pretty. No, um... Honestly, this is a pretty cool-looking ship. The shape is astounding, and I definitely like how it all comes together. It's got a really good interior, and there's just simply nothing I can do to deny that fact. It's such a beautiful-looking ship. There's also some random spots where, you know, you just got um, illogical choices, I guess. Uh, like that just random force field that just lets in you into the ship and sucks out all the atmosphere. But other than that, like the design of this ship is awesome. It is something incredible. The colors, oh, they make me so happy. And the idea of having all the little pods in here that go out and do mining and whatnot, that is exciting. Uh, if, and it would be, you know, absolutely fulfilling if they could do something. Um, this has a lot of potential, a lot of potential. Um, I would definitely have a go at making it a little bit sleeker. And this is just my own opinion. Um, you got all these jagged lines and everything. That can easily be smoothed out. And I think if this ship had a bit more of a smooth look to it, and you, you need it, and this is, this is actually something I was meant to touch on earlier, Get rid of the hardened, you know, the advanced armor. It's it's not doing anything for you. You've got no shields, and you're just gonna get wiped out because you can't move and you can't get away fast enough. So, um, if it's a design choice, sure. If it's a ship just to look at, by all means. But if you're looking at this in a logical thing, get rid of the advanced armor. Replace it with standard hull at least, and replace half of it with just hull. 
Uh, this is not a big enough ship to, to, you know, to really justify this kind of armor. And all it's going to do is make you a sitting duck out there, and that's going to make uh, everyone cry, especially me, because this, this ship looks astounding. Uh, lose a bunch of the jagged edges, and you'll probably get it to be a lot more um, uh, organic looking in a way, or even a lot more sleek and fancy. Um, I really love the windows, this interior on this thing is cool. There's that one really long deck that everything's a little bit messy and a little bit um, busy and going on. Uh, and I will definitely say drop the, and let's just turn the HUD back on for a second. Drop these beacons, turn them off, tear them out. And I want to show you this really quick, uh, Dark, and you're probably going to go, look, uh, dude, I know, I know how to do this. I've been playing this game a really long time. Um, and I don't doubt that you have, but um, it's been bugging me because I really like this, and this is a biased, biased thing. It, and it takes so much, so little effort to achieve to achieve this really cool effect. So um, lose the beacon is all I'm going to say. Is the beacon is a lie? It does nothing. It does nothing but distract you from your true potential. <laughs> lose the beacons. Um, and just sort of, you know, make use of this awesome thruster mechanic we have. And again, I don't know how old this ship is, so I'm not going to pretend that, you know, you did this on purpose because you didn't like the thruster thing. But um, this is such, a, such an idea um, that if you just got rid of the beacons, um, which really, in my opinion, they don't, they don't really help much. And if you just, everywhere you put a beacon, put a single block of, uh, let's just do this. Um, just put a little block uh, of thrust so that way if we get out of this now and we take a little fly looks kind of uneventful from the back but we fly you actually get this nice plume going on and as the faster you go the bigger the plume gets and you got that you get that awesome plume effect from the beacon but now it's on demand now it looks like you're actually animated and doing things uh, and blinking lights. Put some blinking lights on your blinking ship. <laughs> oh man, guys, this is taking me some time to look at this thing. I gotta say, Dark, I am very impressed. I'm really impressed by your build style. There's a lot of potential here, and I really want to see some more of your work. I'm actually going to be looking up your profile on the StarMade docs right after this. So I'm really impressed, man. I, I really want to see some more work from you. And guys, this has been the Dunkleodon Battlecruiser by Dark Nasius. And man, this is something else. I really, really like it. Um, anyway, guys, this has been Surge, and I'm doing a little ship showcase here. A little ship highlight, uh, shining a light on Dark's ship here. So, um, I will see you all guys next time, I guess. Um, yeah, catch you later.